Let's go guys, it's Raul TV, Team R for UL, your favourite YouTube mechanic, back again. And what I've got this time round is, I've got a Jaguar X-Type, 2003 old school, so it's a pretty much old school. 2003 Jaguar X-Type, it's a V6 2.1, or is it a 2.2? They class it as a 2.1, covers up as a 2.1, but I think it's a 2.2. V6 2.2 or 2.1 V6, we're going to go ahead and replace the air filter, oil filter, engine oil, like mini engine service, check all the levels and everything. There we go. Look at that, check that bad boy out. Let's go, let's do it. Okay, you can do it any order you want, but since it's here, I'm going to take the air filter off. To take the air filter off, not rocket science, all we're going to do is we're going to take this one off, these little screws. Phillips screws, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Take all these off, that should come straight off, and the air filter lives there. Okay, once we have got all these off, all the screws off. Okay, we're gonna lift that up. Air filter lives in there. Take that one out. Throw it away. And get a new one in there. But before we get a new one in there, it's a good idea just to give everything a clean out inside there. Get a Hoover if you've got a Hoover vacuum. And uh, just vacuum it out or clean it out best you can. Let's get the new one on. So the new one. I mean, exactly the same way. I'm not going to even show you how to put it on. And just uh, lift that up, put that one on there, put that over it, tighten all the screws up, all these screws up, the way you took it off. That's it. Right, air filter is done. I mean, you can do it any order you, you want. You can do the air filter last if you want. If you want to do it first, you can do it first. Um, what we're going to do now, I'm going to send it up send the car up on the ramp if you're doing it on the floor make sure it's nice and safe jack it up get some axle stands underneath it get a, a trolley jack make sure it's nice and safe you don't want the car falling on top of you uh, that's the last thing you want so yeah i'm gonna send it up and we'll drain the oil okay i have sent the car up on the ramp the sump plug is there the drain plug is there it is a 13 millimeter socket we need to take it off so get that on there 13 mm you can use a spanner if you want a 13 millimeter spanner um, I'm using a socket and a little breaker bar gives me more leverage that way take that one off we'll drain the oil then we'll tackle the oil filter so the oil has been drained out all we do is just put the oil some plug back on tighten it up I mean if you really want to go all professional talk it up which I never do I just get the breaker bar or spanner just tighten it up hand tight tight as you can and that's it job done what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go around to this side get some big dogs on that take the oil filter off it's a me metal one this one so you can't really get it wrong or anything metal one anti-clockwise counterclockwise take that off Let's bang the new one on. Um, one little top tip is because the oil filter, Ford, basically the Jaguar is Ford, okay? They've put the oil filter there and the exhaust running across this way. Bit stupid because when you take the oil filter off, the oil is going to go onto the exhaust. When you start the car up, it's going to smoke. Not very nice. So what we're going to do is we're, we're going to cover this up with some plastic bin liners or bags, whatever you've got. You just uh, cover it up. So that way the oil doesn't go on the exhaust and we'll just uh, replace the oil filter anti-clockwise, anti take it off, get the new one, bang it on, let's go. So as you can see there guys, I've got some big dogs on it, some big clamps on it. If you've got the proper tool to take it off, then happy days, take it off with them. If you haven't, big dogs will suffice. Just take them off. Uh, as you can see there, I've got some plastic covering over the exhaust. Just stop it from, you know, going onto the exhaust, the oil. And hopefully, let's take it off. I need to get both hands on it 
to uh, take it off. So uh, yeah, counterclockwise, let's go. There's a new one, the new oil filter. Just put some oil around the seal. Should, it should give you a nice seal. So all we do is we get it back in there and uh, clockwise. Just tighten it up. Hand tight or 25 newton meters. But I'll just do it hand tight. Tight as you can with your hand. Happy days, let's do it. Right, so the oil filter is on. The air filter's on, car is sent back down. We're gonna get some oil in there. It takes about seven liters, seven and a half liters, this car, round about that or that much. But no point putting seven liters in or anything like that. Best thing to do is put the oil in accordingly and the dipsticks here, just check it on the dipstick. You can't really go wrong. The levels on these, on the dipstick, as you can see here, maximum and minimum. Okay, you just make it out there. Maximum and minimum. Get it towards the maximum, start the car up. Obviously, it will drop down a little bit. And then, what you do is uh, top it up, job done. Okay, there's the dipstick, guys. What you have to do is the level has to be about there. Can you see these two little dots on the dipstick? Just make it out there. Okay, what you need to be is you need to be maximum level is about there. Okay, you don't want to go to there or where it says max, don't go to that just where the top of the uh, little grooves are that's the maximum level so make sure it's there and uh, start it up um, recheck it if it needs a bit more top it up happy days well that's it guys that's how we replace the oil oil filter air filter mini engine service on uh, 2003 4 I think it goes up to 2009 actually Jaguar X-Type dead dead easy it's like pretty much all the oil changes you change the oil filter oil uh, engine oil air filter that's that's about it anyway i hope this video helps you guys out if it didn't help you guys out i'm sorry try my best please like share and subscribe to my channel hit the bell button for me leave a comment in the comment section roll tv we'll see you guys soon